first question is, I was reading a book by Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. It's called Kitab al-Tawhid. There I saw that uh, if someone asks assistance to other than Allah or seek refuge in other than Allah, he commits shirk. Now, mm. I don't really understand what does it mean. Like if I ask someone like, bro, help me with my study notes, will it be shirk or something? Absolutely not. This is a wrong understanding. The statement that you heard is stemming from a prophetic advice. In the sound hadith, Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, once I was mounting on the same ride behind the Prophet sallallahu Then he said to me, ya ghulam, I'm gonna teach you a few words. The word ghulam here doesn't mean a slave like you guys have in Urdu or in Hindu. Ghulam means young boy, teenager. Let me teach you a few words. إذا استعذت فاستعذ بالله إذا استعنت فاستعن بالله إذا سألت فاسأل الله These words If you seek help, you should seek help from Allah If you seek refuge, you should seek refuge in Allah If you ask for help and assistance What kind of help and assistance? I'm sitting here say Guys, can you bring some water? Is this considered an act of shirk? This is foolish Of course not so what does it mean? Hmm. Now I'm having an exam. I am sick. My mother is not feeling well. Me and my wife have been trying to have a child for a while. Whom shall we invoke? Allah alone. So I say, Oh Allah, bless us with a goodly offspring. Can I say that to Prophet Muhammad? No. Can I say that to the mullah or the peer or the saint or whatever alive or dead? No. Because Allah is the razzaq, is the controller of all affairs. Right? You want to seek refuge against Satan and against your inner desire and against deviation. Can you say, oh Muhammad save me from, being de uh, from deviation. Oh uh, so and so. Uh, you might think this is... Uh, Weird to hear, but I heard it by my own ears. I hear people begging dead human beings for help, for assistance, for a child, for marriage, for rizq, and they don't ask from Allah. This is what is meant that it would be perceived as an act of shirk, associating others with Allah in worship. When you ask them for things which not to be asked from, but from the Almighty Allah. Seek a refuge in other than the Almighty Allah. Those who go or in their places, they call upon certain people. Let them be the most righteous people ever. Where are they now? Dead. Is it permissible to say, oh, my master, so and so. I have been applying for a job for the past couple months. And please, please give me a job. This is an act of associating others in, uh, with Allah in worship because it is invoking other than the Almighty, seeking help from other than the Almighty. You know now what kind of seeking help? What kind of seeking refuge? What kind of question? Got it?